cultural diversity occurs when people from different cultural or ethnic groups living together in one place. Within the Caribbean we have people of African, European, American, Afro-Indian, Asian and Middle Eastern ethnic groups living together. The mixing cultures brings a variety of festivals, food, art and tradition to the Caribbean. The earliest ethnic group to settle in the Caribbean were the Amerindians who came from Central and South America around 4000 BC. The Taino people from the Orinoco River area arrived around 500 BC. Amerindians still live in the Caribbean today, particularly in St. Vincent. Africans were transported to the Caribbean in the 17th century as slaves. Most countries in the Caribbean have a majority Afro-Caribbean population. The influence of European culture is present in the Caribbean through Christianity and festivals such as Christmas and Easter. Europeans arrived in the Caribbean in 1492. Asian influence came with the arrival of indentured workers from China and India in the 19th century. With these ethnic groups came Hinduism and Islam, along with their many festivals. Amerindians contributed cassava, pepper pot, traditional craft, basket weaving and pottery. Afro-Caribbeans, African traditional religion, drumming and dance, storytelling, plantain, breadfruit Europeans, architecture, Christianity, cricket, government and education systems Asians contributed Hinduism, Islam, festivals, roti, curry, rice. The Caribbean's rich cultural mix is attractive to tourists, who like to try the different foods available and visit cultural and historical places. People come to the Caribbean to experience carnival. Tourists buy traditional art and crafts and pay to watch traditional dancing and music. Our society is made up of different social groups. These groups will meet and interact regularly, share common goals and interests and meet expectations for accepted behavior. A primary social group is small. Members interact frequently and directly, relationships are personal and each person belongs to the group based on who they are. Membership is normally involuntary. An example of this type of group is the family. Secondary social groups are larger and less personal. Interaction is less frequent or temporary and the group may be split into smaller work groups, an example a school. A formal social group is an organized group with an elected leader and written rules. Members might wear a uniform and there are usually formal requirements for joining and leaving. Cooperation is required by all members, example a class in school informal social groups are more relaxed, with no clear structure or rules, and members may join or leave voluntarily at any time, example peer groups.